What's up, everybody? Miss Blade out of the game here, back with another video for y'all today. And today, I'm gonna quickly give you my opinion on Diablo 4 season, Diablo 4 season 4 PTR. So let's get right into it. One thing about Diablo 4 season 4 PTR that I really like is that they have changed how itemization work in the game. Now, the stats you get on your gear are now more meaningful than than it were. Why I mean why I mean by this? Well, the reason I say your stats are more meaningful now than it was before 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 season uh four is that now you don't get trash stats. You know the stat like stats you gotta do certain things for them to activate. Now most of the stats now are basically just flat like damage increases, defense increases, resistance increases. You know the basically how you think about how last think about how last epoch does it. You know, I played last Epoch. Y'all know how their itemization is. You basically you read what you get, and they're, and they're no conditional, so you don't have to do no weird thing where you have to play a game. You have you don't have to play a game in a weird way for something to activate. You have stuff like damage, resistance. You know your basic invulnerable damage as well. You know you you know you ain't playing Diablo Four without vulnerable damage. Like that's still that's still like the top tier stat to have in the game. Invulnerable. I'm surprised they hadn't got rid of that stat yet. I'll be real with you. But yeah, you got those stats, right? So basically, they got rid of all the stat where you had to do a certain thing for the stat to activate. So now, you don't have to worry about stats like healthy enemies, cold. If enemies are freezing, you do more damage. If, if enemies are cold, you do more damage. Or you don't have to do, you don't have to worry about, oh, if you, um, if you 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 can this stat do not activate on only on Tuesdays. That's a joke about the um, ad fixes in Diablo 4 that before this patch, you literally had ad fixes that that you had to do something completely. You had to play the game in a completely contrived way for the stat to activate. Like the stat like the stats in Diablo 4 was so stupid and it was so garbage. Like the ones you really want are stats you always can rely on. Like the, that, I always hated about Diablo 4 where you had stats, you had to do certain stuff for them to activate. But now that ain't the case because now they replaced it where they just had like basic stats you can always rely on, like damage, defense, vulnerable, poison damage, like stuff like that. They don't have you don't have worry you don't have to worry about weird weird stats being on a piece of gear and you had to do something very very specific to do it that's why i liked about that one that one thing i definitely liked, liked about the season four diablo 4 season 4 ptr and they literally just did them but copied last epoch that's that's the only thing they did with this itemization because last epoch did the same thing and diablo 4 was like hey can I just copy your homework and just basically did something that we could have, but you could have did on our own? Like it wasn't hard. They could have done that like in season two or season one. Like making items, make making useful items, and get rid of unuseful items or stats could they like so simple. Like I don't know why they couldn't do that when the game either launched or when season one launched. That was so stupid. Like they had a lot of unnecessary stats on pieces of gear, and, but they finally realized, hey, we don't need all the unnecessary stats. We just gonna copy that epoch and put stats that people can always use. And don't have to do, and don't have to play a game, and don't have to play the game in some kind of weird way for these stats to activate. Like, dude, they literally had a list with all the useless stats you could acquire on a piece of gear, and it made looking through your gear so tedious, man. But now it's so easy to look at your stats, see what one you want, and just put it on. If you don't like the stat, just throw it away. But before, you had to look at a lot of useless stats just to find out what gear was worth keeping and what and which one was just salvage, which is garbage you could have salvaged for. That's the only thing. That's the only thing I'm glad they really improved on with this with this PTR in this season. That one thing I'm so glad they really, really focused down on is making your gear actually mean something. So now you don't have to look through useless stuff. But anyway, that ain't the only thing they had in the Diablo 4 Season 4 PTR. They had something called the Pit. Now the Pit in the uh, season in Season 4 basically an in-game is in-game uh, activity 
where you basically run a dungeon. I think the um, difficulty, the base difficulty of the of the pit is level 100. So you're gonna be at the very least you're gonna be fighting level 100 mobs. But the pit is an in-game activity where you are on a timer and you gotta complete that dungeon, or you gotta complete two sets of dungeon in that one timer. It, the high, the, the the pit so far I got to like tier four of the pit. I believe the pit can go on for long as you want to until you reach like the max tier. I had not reached the max tier because I'm just simply not good at not good enough at Diablo to reach the max tier, or I just didn't invest a lot of time in the pit because I was just basically trying to run like nightmare dungeons to get a feel for them and run hell ties to how that feel. So I didn't spend a lot of time in the pit, and plus the pit require you to form out a certain current a certain currency to order to enter it. You just can't enter the pit whenever you want to. You gotta have certain you gotta have a certain currency to run the pit. So the pit was a, was a good experience. I like the pit. It, it's, it's it's okay for what it is. I think it's I think it could have been a little bit better. I don't think it's all that for real. You can say the pit is is probably like an in game activity, but problem is the pit only you can only really enjoy the pit until you get to like level 100. I feel like around level 100 when people just start quitting the game. Cause honestly, most people that re most people that reach level 100 just quit. Like I don't think most people stick around to a level 100. I went the pit was at the base level was like an 80 or something. Because I feel like a level 100 is a little bit too late for the pit to actually be a viable method. I know you can probably say, well, people can just uh, run it earlier because you can run, you can run on uh, stuff earlier. You can be successful. But you're gonna be, let's say you run a pit at level 85. You still got like 15 more levels to go. You, they, that not a lot of time to be. That not a lot of time you can really get spent in the pit. And with this patch, you level up faster. That's another thing about season four. I'm glad that the end game leveling won't take a decade to do. Like the game will literally just level you up faster, which I love because at cause the end game is really when you start like falling off. Like the games just start falling off because it just it just sometimes it's hard to reach level 100 when you feel like the game when you feel like you just making little progress within your levels. But yeah, the pit is cool. I love it, but I don't think it's enough. I don't think it's a really huge season mechanic. Like the mechanic really ain't that huge now. Don't take it now. Like they said, you won't be able to play everything in season four PTR. You only play something in season four PTR. So I kind of so they're gonna have more stuff in season four than they showing us right now. This is basically just give us a little taste of what we can expect for, for the for the real season four. So anyway, what else? What else do I like about uh, season four? I like the new blacksmith. The blacksmith in the PTR is basically like you can't upgrade your own um, gear like you could in the base game now. You got something they call like tampering, where you can actually add stats to your gear. Like if you need a if you need a stat on a certain piece of gear, you can get it. You just gotta have recipes, and you can get the recipe from places like the pit or I think even Nightmare Dungeon, I believe. But yeah. These recipes, you can actually learn these recipes, right? And the and these recipe will literally give you like certain lists of ad fixes, ad fixes you can add to your gear. Like they will have like a, a an offensive recipe that give you nothing but offensive stat. But here's the kicker: you can't pick from these um stat. You you basically gotta gamble a little bit of which stats you're gonna get. So. You gonna have to um, spend a couple of time, and these do require materials. You, they will use up your material if you decide to do tampering. Tampering will use some materials, and, and the stat you get will be randomized. So, just keep you. You just gonna have to keep on spending until you get the stat that you want, basically. But for for the most part, I like the tampering system. You can add any well, not add any stat that you want. You kind of gotta go through the RMG a little bit, but. You can potentially get the stat that you want on a certain piece of gear without without going through any hassle for real for real. But that's why I really that's that's another interesting thing I kind of liked about Diablo 4 Season 4 PTR. And another thing I realized about Diablo 4 Season 4 PTR is when you were like in the city, you know, like the main hover worlds, 
they condensed the city down. So now more, you know how certain vendors would be like all over the place. Well, now certain vendors are literally, literally, literally are so close to each other. Like you don't even have to travel. Some vendors literally do certain stuff that other vendor used to do. Like you know the little jury vendor. I believe you can like. Hello. I really can't say it right now what the vendor because I'm not really looking at it right now when I, when I'm recording their voiceover. But I like how now you don't have to travel from from um, you don't have to travel all over the city or the hub world to try to get your gear crafted because all the all the um, stores are so located close to each other they like right next to each other you don't have to worry about going from all the way down to one part of the hub world to another part of the hub world so that one thing I completely love about Diablo 4 season 4 PTR is that, that, that all the stores now are just closer you don't have to worry about traveling half halfway through the city just to find one shop. So I think that's very convenient and keep and keep the player from having to spend a lot of time just trying to get stuff. Trying to get from place to place. So what another, what another thing I love about it on Diablo 4? Uh, another thing I kind of love about Diablo 4 season 4 PTR is the new improved hell ties. As y'all know. Hilltide had got a completely revamp. Now in Hilltide, there are just completely more mobs. I mean, the enemy density is like insane. Like, dude, the enemy, the enemy density in the new improved Hilltides are just insane. Like, you got a whole lot of mobs to actually kill now. Like, you you don't have to worry about traveling and just having like barren open space. Like the like like it is so packed. Like, mobs mob will literally spawn on top of you. Like enemies are, enemies are not gonna be a huge problem for you if you're looking for them because they're like all over the place now. Like the mob density in Hilltide have been significantly increased, and trust me, it's way more fun for that as well. So I gotta give Blizzard that they, they have made that in-game activity so much fun to do. But anyway, so far that the all my experience with Diablo 4 season season 4 PTR. I really can't think of nothing else right now that can come to mind. I'll let y'all know if it does or I just post on in the comment what else I think about. But that is really it. I'm I'm kinda loving Diablo 4 season 4 PTR. I think it's very, very nice that we got a that Diablo 4 is kinda getting back getting back to a good spot now. I think not too many people love season three. I think season three was Diablo 4 weakest season by far. I didn't play a whole lot of season two, be to be real with you. And I think them having competition like Last Epoch and Poe. I don't play Poe. I play the I play the miss out Last Epoch. I got I got like a hundred hours in Last Epoch now, and I'm like on my second character that is like at level fifty. And my and my first character is like at level thirty. And like my 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 first character is like at level ninety three. So I've been playing a lot of last epoch, and I'm very very glad that game came out because I, not only that I enjoy the game, I think games like last epoch finally putting a light on the blizzard butt and making them make good changes to Diablo and not and and help them keep them from being in their ways. Cause one thing about Blizzard is that they can be very stubborn. But anyway, I think that's enough for today. They've been busy playing out the way another video. See y'all next time. Peace.